from Los Angeles. Um, I've written three books um, prior to my the book that I've done with 50. The first book is probably my most famous book. It's called The 48 Laws of Power. And then I've done The Artist Seduction and The 33 Strategies of War. And then The 50th Law will be out in September. Yeah, basically before that I would work. I was working in Hollywood for a while um, as a writer, etc. And I, you know, my books are kind of about what the real world is like, not what people, not what people think it should be like or what they want it to be, but what really is actually out there and the kind of games that people might play against you, to manipulate you, or the kind of things you might need to know about how to get ahead in this world. And my first book was very popular in the hip hop world. Um, people like Jay Z read it and have contacted him, and then 50 was a big fan of the book. And because of that, I, I met 50 and we decided to do our own books. His um, agent contacted me, 50 wanted to meet me, and you know, he wanted to hear what I thought about his strategy that he was employing. And then also, you know, maybe see if there might be uh, something we could work together on. So we met in. Uh, in Manhattan, in the back room of a steakhouse, it was like something from The Sopranos. You know, it was weird because he and I kind of got along. It, I don't. I think he was expecting me to be this kind of boring, older guy who writes books, and I was expecting him to be this ultra tough gangster, and he is. But he's also a really nice guy who's very smart, and we were both kind of surprised by each other, and we thought, hey, maybe we could. Do something together. I was skeptical about doing a book with 50, uh, but when I met him, uh, I thought, you know, the, the main thing is um, 50's the kind of person that if he trusts you, he lets you kind of do your thing. If he thinks, you know, if he lets you go. He's not somebody who's going to breathe down your neck and control everything. And because he liked my writing and he trusted me, and I could see that in the beginning, uh, I decided that it would be a really exciting project. And you know, I wanted to collaborate with him as an equal, and not be sitting there, you know, just writing his biography. We're, we're two people bringing our ideas together, and I did it because I think he's an amazing person. I think he's he's the most powerful person I've ever met, and I've met a lot of very interesting politicians, CEOs. He's he's a really open spirit, but he's very smart, and I think he's going to be really powerful, even more powerful than he is now in a few years. So I, I thought it was a real privilege to do the book with him. Well, whenever I write a book, I try to figure out what it is about a person that makes them powerful and successful. And I like to dig really deep inside and figure out, you know, what's underneath it all. And so with 50, I studied him, I watched him, and then I thought about him. And I basically decided after seeing him in, in several situations that he's someone that operates without fear. Um, so I was wondering, were you just sort of born this way? Did you come out of the womb not crying, kind of fearless? Or, or did you have to develop this attitude when you were on the streets as a kid without a mother or father there? Did you have to learn how to be like that? That's absolutely something that I developed. You can look at everything he's done in life from being a hustler to leaving hustling to go into music, from what his mixtape campaign after he was shot, to the signing the deal with Eminem, to all of his business success, and it's I, it's really because he is somebody that doesn't feel fear. He's not afraid to take risks. He's not afraid to change. He's not afraid of death. And that fearlessness, I call it. It's like it's like a samurai warrior. It's like his position of power. And whenever you come at him to try to attack him or, or do something to him, he has this fearlessness, and you're not gonna you're not gonna touch him. And I thought, you know, if that's the power that he has, and uh, I felt it was kind of inspiring to be around him. Uh, why not make that the subject of the book? And the 50th law is like the ultimate law of power. If you're not afraid in any situation in life, you're not nervous, you feel confident. There's nothing you can stop you. What does Robert think?